Mechanics Hunter, this is HP Builds, and welcome back to the channel. So today has been a long time coming because this old truck has been waiting a long time to finally make its way onto the channel. So the truck I'm talking about is a little 67 F100, and I don't know if you guys remember, but way, way back when, when we first got Henry the F150, this truck was actually in the 24 foot bumper pull trailer we had. And that is what I towed the very first time with Henry. Well, this truck has been around a lot longer than that truck was. We've had this truck for about five years. And I say we, because it is my dad's truck that I do work on and he works on and, and we just kind of piddle with. It started out as a uncle of ours uh, it was his truck he bought it out of uh, Georgia and he had it not too long he only had it for about three or four months and his plan was when he was gonna retire he was gonna bring this truck up to the garage and do a true restoration on it and really bring it up to par to go to car shows and things like that well as luck would have it uh, about three days or th four or five days after uh, he retired he had a massive stroke. He's alive, but it put him out of ever truly restoring this truck. His energy was all but depleted, and he called on dad and he said, hey, you and Alex, you know, you like this old truck. If you guys want it, come up here and get it. So me and dad bought it from him, and that was about uh, five years ago or so. And since then, it has been a slow work in progress. It wasn't a runner and driver by any means when this truck was bought by us. It didn't have brakes. It was leaking water out of the heater core. It was barely wanting to even idle. I mean, the laundry list of things that were wrong with this truck was huge. Well, we got it. We did an entire brake system on it, uh, put the brake booster on it, all new lines, all new components in the drums, all new rotors and pads up front. I mean, really, really went over it with a fine tooth comb as far as braking, and that got it to where we could actually stop. But from there, we still had, you know, a carburetor that didn't really want to idle. We replaced that. We had a heater core that was dumping water like a water hose. We replaced that. Then it got to the point where, okay, you, you could drive it down the road. Well, then we pulled the gas tank out because we figured out it had a lot of crud in it and it was just clogging up fuel filter after fuel filter. So we cleaned up the gas tank. We put that back in. All new gas line to this thing. And now it was good to go. And ever since then, we've been really just driving it around like we're doing today. Uh, it's just been a little thing taking up the car shows in Portland and going to the racetrack, going to NMRA. But we haven't spent a whole ton of money on it yet because quite frankly it takes a ton of money to get any of this thing off the ground now we did buy new wheels and tires for it that was pretty nice bought the uh, cooper cobra tires and bought american racing wheels made the truck look really really nice in my opinion especially with a little bit of primer that we've had on it with a little bit of body work that we've done but generally speaking not a whole lot of rust good good running truck and now it is on to the next project for this truck and that is exhaust so as you guys could hear when we started it up in the garage it sounds pretty good but it needs a true exhaust system so what's on here right now has been kind of just patchwork to say the least it's held together but it ain't much to speak of so i bought laminar flow uh Flowmaster mufflers for it and we've got a guy in Franklin that's gonna do it for 300 bucks but we have to go ahead and put headers on this truck so that's what we're doing now we're looking to see do we do long tubes do we do shorties you know what's cost efficient we clearly want to do stainless you know what are we looking at and it's looking like that's probably gonna be about a $1,500 ordeal and we're gonna get that done here in the next couple weeks so it's not gonna be in this video, but today's video is just to bring this truck up and show you guys what this truck is. It's kind of been lurking in the background of a bunch of videos and it, it was time to bring it out and actually show you guys what we have because 
Now it's time to start truly spending some money on this truck. It obviously is a V8. It's got 302. Um, originally, per the VIN number on this truck, this was a 351 with a three-speed on the tree. It's a 302 now, like I said, with a three-speed automatic. A lot more desirable truck to drive, and it actually drives really well. I'm sure you guys can hear, I've got that window up. All the window seals and all that are just shot on this truck because, let's face it, it's from 1967, so of course it's gonna rattle. But if I had the window down, this truck actually is very quiet. It runs really, really well. Um, we went to the test and tune at the beginning of this year. Me and Ashley took this truck to the other side of Lebanon, and we were actually able to get almost 19 miles to the gallon out of this little V8. So awesome little truck. I'm glad we have it around. Dad has offered it two or three times to different people for sale. And one, I tell him all the time, he's way too cheap. And two, it's way too nice of a truck to get rid of. That it has too nice of a story to get rid of it. Because my Uncle Mike, like I said, it was five years ago we bought the truck from him. He's not doing well anymore. And we need to get this truck over to him. I want to go give him a ride in it. And uh, go see him. It's been a while since we've seen him, but I definitely want to take the truck to him and show him, hey, we have a true running and driving truck right now. So anyways, not a whole long drawn out video here. I just really wanted to show you guys the 67 F100 that's been lurking in the background for the entire time this channel has been a channel. So thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video will be here in a few days because obviously it's been a long time since I've been on the channel. I've been very busy with work and I'm leaving out in about 24 hours for another three day stint. So I'll catch you guys at the end of this week, but I hope you guys enjoy the truck. Help me come up with a name for this thing because it needs a name just like everything else. See you guys in the next video.